So at attack, you've got Gabriel Prosik, along with Carter Castillo and Mason Bregman. Mike Tobin, of course, Grant Breo, and Shane O'Leary. And at defense, Jane Dulock, Ryan Sharkey, and Chris Campbell. We have action here at out Garber. Out the front door. And right out of the gates, here come the Statesmen. Quick shot Good is by stopped Note. by Note and Goal. Where he'll play both sides of the field today. Good look at him right there. Quick, shifty. Fast player. Caleb Hammett wins the face off over Adam Shea, and now UMass will get it into their attacking zone. As the Minutemen on the season, seven and five, four and three on their own turf. I'd say the matchup to watch now is 90. Sixth goal of the year for Hoynes. And here's Hammond again. Back to back face offs one. Tobin. Tobin nice has his save shot. By Wilson. Save by Wilson. Wilson right there. Tobin's playing with a little extra pep in his I stop a shot that's coming almost 100 miles an hour. And one of the best in the business in terms of Anthony to tell us he gets his team leading 24th goal of the season. It's a good battle at the faceoff X here. And Hammett won the last two. Scrum for the ground ball. Still no possession. These guys selling out. Here we go. Hard hit by the defenseman Matt Turner. And it'll be Massachusetts possession. Oof. There and he's having an early, you know, run of success as a young head coach at Hobart. He's doing a great job out there. Yeah, five and seven this season. A little adjusting to do in the A-10. We got a flag down on the delayed penalty, and the Massachusetts Minutemen will try to take advantage. Oh. Big stick goal. Extra it's income. Patrick. Extra income. If you're finding ways to generate scoring opportunities and cashing in in unsettled situations, then you got to keep. You got to keep going hard. You see right here, the ball bounces their way, and UMass takes advantage. Look at the leverage he gets on this. <laughs> right to the five hole for Wilson. And UMass takes their first lead today, three to two, and that was set up by the exchange right here at center by Hammett. One of the keys to victory here at the faceoff facts. It's going to be a battle. Caleb's got to quit, keep digging it out for UMass, but he's going to have his hands full. Once so far, again, so good. Yep, over Shea, who struggled there so far today. And the men have the advantage. Very physical battle, but, you know, when you play hard, you also have to play smart. It's not always the easiest thing to do in the world. Let's see if Shea can win the exchange here at center X. And the Statesmen do. That's got to feel like a small win for yeah, Hobart. You yeah, you see Caleb getting the initial clamp. And absolutely. So under three to go. But Hobart Hobart gets the goal. Traditionally, Hobart is a pesky team. They hang in there and they battle and they're not going anywhere. So if you're UMass, you got to make the plays you're supposed to execute. Face off win for uh, Caleb. Here comes the Drip King. <laughs> Social media persona, if you would. <laughs> Need to goal advantage five to three. That's a good sign for you, Mass. You see early on Prosik not finding the back of the net, and he made sure that time. Adam Shea able to win the faceoff now in consecutive draws for Hobart. You see Hobart dodging to the cage immediately. Like they're trying to get you in those unsettled situations. So you got to be ready. Offensive coordinator at Hobart, Stephen Brundage, had a great career at Loyola. And, uh, you know, he's been a highly decorated offensive coordinator for a long time. You can see how much emphasis Hobart puts on shooting the ball. Yeah. Very good shooters. As we mentioned earlier, Hobart almost 14 goals per game. And Massachusetts is more around the 10 goal per game mark. It hasn't translated into wins. Face off coming back really. here. I, I think the story so far has been the way these teams have been able to take advantage of the penalties and Absolutely. the man up opportunities. And you want to limit your fouls as best mm. as you can. Scoring then Massachusetts would be hoping for at this juncture. Yeah, UMass would like to have a few more of those possessions back, some pipes, some empty ones. Expect them to tighten it up a little bit offensively and cash in. And it could start with uh, winning the face off as you see right here. Right down the shoot, this one deflected. It'll stay for Prosik. Person that gets the most out of his team, and he's been really good for a long time. And, you know, I plan to model my uh, first ever team at Elms College, you know, using his approach because uh, he does things the right way and he cares. Hammett wins another faceoff for the Minutemen, and 
And we're going to have a timeout called by UMass. Something Coach Canella did not like. They were at 3.09 to go. And you want to build on this type of momentum here for UMass, and it starts again at the faceoff X, which has been a good battle today. But you want those first time possessions, possessions nine tenths of the law. Let's see what happens here. <laughs> 17 goals on the season now for Tobin. And Hammett fights off Shea initially on this faceoff, but Shea's a handful. Yeah, Shea thought Look he had it, battle. and now Hammett gets it back. That was a fun exchange. Little dirty dangle, picking up the GB. Whoa! All the way down, had it deflected. That's the third time we've seen Hammett go right down Broadway. But he is laying it all on the line. This is the best I've seen him play in person this year, and uh, you know he wants to compete. He wants to win for the seniors. You see it right there. And Shea looked like he had it, and it was able to. Hammett able to knock it away momentarily, just enough to get that possession. This play mates. That leads the team in assists, gets another one there. Hurley now eight goals on the season. We're tied up at seven, 90 seconds to go here in the first half. And a great one from Garber between two old friends from the ECAC days. Again, Hammett, he gets upended. A lot of contact, slashed at and ultimately taken away by Hobart. That's offensively. That was well played by Coach Canella. Took the timeout. Got I'm the sure, set up. I'm sure Caleb's going to try to go out the front door here and get one, but you see Shea not letting him do that. Not enough time here for Hobart as they try to get a desperation. Shea with the draw, and this shot goes very wide by Hurley. Early offense from Hobart off the draw there. And looks like they're going to get settled. Um, you know, sometimes when those uh, situations happen, you got an end line script ready, you know, set play off the end line. But UMass dominant. And try to keep those Dodgers one way, you know, because when they go back and forth, then it could get a little hairy defensively. Which way are you trying to it, push One that? way, baby. Doesn't matter. Keep them one way. Force <laughs> them into the help. Just try to keep them going one direction. Makes life a little bit easier. You know, you really think this is where it's been won for UMass in terms of keeping it where it is or tied at eight. Ham to eight. Yeah, Same. going back to the high point game, since Bregman's been injected into the lineup a little more, like you see him playing with that fire and, you know, scoring those types of goals. I mean, he can light it up. My man's just going hard, making plays. And now this feels like a crucial spot in the ball game. Considine in the penalty area now, with nine seconds to go in the third quarter. Both sidelines are filled with juice. Imperative to win Shea. this, and they do. Shea gets the draw. See if they can. And he will run it out. With 52 seconds left on the penalty and the man up opportunity. That'll take us to the fourth quarter. It is a two to the ground. That's his 14th of the year. Kind of a broken play that led to that opening. Yeah, and like again, if you can, it doesn't. They don't ask how, right? They ask how many. <laughs> That's an example of it right there. Hammett, These guys again, are selling out. Doing everybody, work today. Everybody cranking it up a notch here. And you see Hobart denying that first initial outlet for Caleb, making life difficult, sending the pole, try and get the ball out of his stick. Play mindset here. You know, you can't dwell. You got to move on. But he you, you would certainly like to have that stop. Hurley with his third goal coming out of the timeout. And now this makes this an even more pivotal face off. And it's won by Hobart. Shea popping it out the front door. He gets him a third goal of the season for Krish, but it's a big one. UMass now with a 12 to nine lead. That negates the goal from Hobart moments ago. And that's signs of a good team right there. You know, all season long, UMass has been looking for a four quarter performance. I think they're on their way to one today. You know, like Shea's figured something out here on the faceoff. Yeah, it's, it's like he's had spurts where he's controlled it, but like, you know, it, that's been a- Of the season, a hat trick today for Tobin, a hat trick today for Hurley. But both ways, this game, you know, what an exciting game to, to watch, to call with UJ. You know, thrill of a lifetime for me. Appreciate everything, man. It's been a great season. It sure has been. We appreciate your time and effort as the Minutemen will play on. Postseason abound in the first year in the A-10, the new league. Massachusetts is in the top four, and they'll play next week.